Hello Duelist, Tombox here, and uh, the bandless came out today, and I guess I'm going to do a quick little discussion about it, and maybe you guys can leave your comments below of what you guys think about it. So first off, we have Banned, Love of All Chain, and Jin Releaser of Rituals. Love of All Chain Banned prevents you from doing loops. It actually hits Clown Blade, so it might affect the sales of that, because your opening turn is not very stable, and considering the Necros is still a very viable deck from this list, it's going to be difficult to get the engine started, and if your engine isn't complete, your Clown or your Thousand Blade will be in the graveyard, and they are potential banishing targets. Alright, second up, we have Jin. Jin's banned because no one likes Jin Lock. Jin Lock is a very degenerate part of the last two formats, and well, I guess you don't have to main those Book of Eclipses anymore. So you get more spots for more useful cards to make the game a little more skillful rather than trying to sack a counter card. Alright, Delimited. We have Shrit, Strategist of Necroz, and dun dun dun, Trishula is back. Um, for Shrit, I think Shrit was a very smart move in Konami's part. Like, if you think about buying a deck, you don't think about killing the deck off and making the guy really salty because that prevents them from buying more products in the future. Um, hitting Shrit actually kills off a big part of the deck that a lot of us overlook. He is the combo piece of the deck. He is the reason why you can easily OTK in the most part and he kills off your brick hands. He literally is a, is a consistency card in the long run. You can Rota him. And when you use him for rituals, you can use him as the whole thing. Now you gotta be a little more careful when you ritual summon, or when Shrit's in the graveyard. Maybe DD crowing him is not such a bad idea after all. In fact, most of the Necros OTKs revolve around having some form of Shrit uh, available. Now, for Trishula, I am actually very happy to see this card off the list. I was kind of expecting him to come off the list just because OCG had it for a while and he didn't make that much of an impact. But for us, this opens up uh, everyone that does play Synchros the option to Trishula. So what decks do that affect? They affect Yang Zings, um, Black Wings, Madolce. Madolce can actually easily make Trishula if they do run tuners like TG Striker or uh, Emergency Tele Teleport. So you can't just blame Necros for being the only deck that has option to such a powerful effect. In fact, this effect's better because you can do a turn 1 if you really want to banish one card out of their hand at the beginning, or if they have a grave but no field, you can still hit them with a Trish. Alright, moving on. Semi-limited, Dragon's Ravine. At least Dragoonity players can not complain about E-Dragons ruining their entire format. At least they have two Dragon's Ravine now. And Atlantean Dragoons. Well, Mermails aren't really doing too much now, and nor are the Atlanteans. But this could be a sign maybe Atlantean Prince is going to be uh, somewhere in the future. And perhaps by putting him at 2 now will allow us to get him at a slightly more powerful state when he's released. As for Unlimited, there's nothing really remarkable about the Unlimited list. Glow Bulb, Sinister Serpent, Dark Strike Fighter. A one card I do want to kind of note is Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. This could be a good move on their part if they want to promote selling Red Eyes decks. Um, I'm not sure how many do they play. Some of the players I've talked to online uh, did say that they believe this could be a potential engine for that deck. Um, well, moving on, Temple of Kings. This might be to promote people to kind of try it out a little more. It was at one, so there was no real point trying the card. And Exchange of Spirit, nothing remarkable, had no impact to our current game whatsoever. Well, that's it for now. Um, Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this ban list. How would you fix Clown Blade without an open turn Lava Vault chain? Are there cards that can ditch warriors into the graveyard? Yeah, that's stuff that I would like to know. If you can't ditch a warrior, can you perhaps send them a spellcasters into the graveyard. Just... And uh, what do you think about this small list? This list was relatively small and pretty easy to follow up on. Um, and what do you think the direction of Necroz is going to be? Do you think you like how they just kind of reduced its consistency and destroyed some of the combo pieces? Yeah, just leave your thoughts down below. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to us already, please do subscribe and 
as always, don't forget to hold on to your MST.tv.